Yeah, right. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to wet my old page, yeah. I'll wet my old page all the way down. I'm going to straight through that arse. I'm not forced. Straight through. Straight through everything. There we are, right down to the bottom. That's sad. Right, I think now what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this paper sideways. Oh, I've got blue streak in that little sky. Just turn that that way for a minute. Right, I want... That here, I want a nice creamy colour in this sky. Some of the bar, like that. Maybe it's a bit down there, and all maybe it's there. Nice, I like that. Oh, squeeze that out. Wash my brush. Uh, right now, I want a nice sort of. I think I'll have a cerulean blue colour. That's nice. Nice cerulean blue colour. Yeah. That's lovely. Like a bit of that in there. Just get it so it touches, so it all blends in. I think that. Keep going with that. Dee, 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 dee. Nice and strong at this top bit. And then fading down. A bit weaker as we go down. Something like that. There. Something like that. That's looking good. Oh, well. That's pretty much what I'm after. Shall have a bit, a tiny bit of darker blue. Just been on that top bit there. Something like that. That's not bad. Uh, let's leave that at that. Um, don't want any white dabbing in or out. No, I think that looks alright at that. I'm going to give that a little dry. Take that clip off because it's cockling. In fact, let's put that cut up there. Right, I'm going to I think what I'll do, I'll turn it round while I'm drying it now, let it slop the other way. I'll tell you what I should have done. Put the water in while I'm doing it. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do now. There it. Let's do a bit upside down, like that. see what I'm doing. Just got it on its side. You see me I'm mainly working from this top bit down. Um right there sipping my tea. So I've gone through that's like a yellow ochre or a raw sienna colour. I actually mixed my own because we're on that. Um now I've got some uh, I'm gonna mix some uh, dark blue and ultramarine will be a good blue bit of Payne's Grey, a slight bit of red and all, try and get like a bluish purplish colour, that's nice, there, right, that's mixed on my brush ready, uh, <coughs> it's mainly sort of in the middle so I don't need to wet all my sky, it's gonna, although I might be as well just, I don't know, so look. wetting it all anyway there come down through there I think that'll do right I'm gonna put another now layer on of this purple stuff it seems to come up there about like that across there nah. why is that bit like that get that quick don't want that hard edge there that hot bit of paper there obviously dried out there I'll go below that keep that soft edge yeah and that's sort of coming through there like that, through there, down into that bottom bit right there. Yeah, that's not looking bad. Maybe it's that bit at the top there looks a little bit, a little hard edge. Yeah, 
paper's drying quick. Oh, I like that little hard edge there. That will by accident, but I like it. I've not got much paint mixed up. I want to mix a bit more. Just dab a bit more in. Let's try that. Oh, that's nice. Just have a bit more in there like that. Dee, 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 dee. Give that a dry, I think that looks alright. Oh, this is a bit. Actually, I've gone off that hard edge there, what I said I liked. Got a bit. I <laughs> changed my mind there. That's better. Do I need any more? You know what? I just want a bit. It's not as wet enough. I just want a bit sort of covering some of that cream colour as well. So I'm going to bring a bit in just there, like that, trying to go around them little white bits. Some little white bits in there. I don't want to lose them. There, that'll do. That's that's nice. Let's give that a try. Turn it all the way round, so my water drips back to the other way, and that'll get soften things even more. Just let that drip a bit. In fact, I'll push it down. Won't I? on there like that. just to see what happens and then I was going to try and wash it out and then I thought mm, I think it might look alright maybe I can just thin that top bit out there maybe that top line I'll leave that underline so it looks like a bit of a cloud dripping over maybe a bit of that there something like that that's nice isn't it yeah not quite a bit that right <clears throat> let me pin that back Increasing there now. In fact, let me try and straighten this up together. Go on back up there. And clip. Man, there. That'll do for now. Oh, I've smudged there. That won't dry properly, and I've smudged it with my hand. Having said that, even that looks okay. It's going to get quite a nice effect. So look at that. See that effect there? Smudged that with my hand because it won't quite dry well it looks quite nice <laughs> this drippy bit here it's a bit of an effect if you want them sort of a lot of artists to try and avoid that out like that but uh, it's up to you if you like it or not i quite like it i think that looks quite nice i'm gonna use this same purple color on this background nil now i think i might even just come straight over in right to the bottom and then just build a layer up on there oh i forgot to put my water in That was stupid with capital stir. Right, let's have a look. Get this really watery. So I want this proper faint. Oh, that looks nice. That's exactly what I want. I think I will just come down to there, to the to where my line is roughly. Gotta be careful here, side of my building. There. Careful there, careful on that top bit there. There, that's it. I think a tiny little brush, tiny little brush, there's just a little tiny bit there. 
that floor blown me nicely. Little bit there where I'm not quite up to line on. Pop that in. Just there. All the way. Jobly. Right now. Let's get into a bit of green. It's quite dark green. Dee -dee -dee. Let's get into a bit of this darker green. And then I can make use of some of this wet in wet while that's still wet. Get some of this blend. So really, what I want to be doing really on this is just going as fast as I can really now while it's still wet to get that wet in wet. I'll get some lost and found edges because some of it's dried and some on it hasn't. So that'll work good for me. Try and get right up to there, that's nice. Uh, right. dee, 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 dee. Same again, I've got a different colour now. What I've done now, gone into that cream colour what I used there and it's going to hit this other colour. Same again, wet in wet. And then it's going to blend and it's changing it green on paper. So I'm actually mixing my colours on the paper. There we are. Bring that. Then actually, thinking about it, it's come down to about there. I've got a new brush look. It's got a dead nice chiseled edge for doing them bits. I'm still using my other brush. Now, oh, I've dropped everything. That brush, my old one, was a softening brush. So if I need to soften out, so I'm keeping that one damp with water on it. So it's there if I need to soften out. Right. Try and work quick now. A little bit of on tumble. Just get a bit of a water line on this bottom bit. That should look nice. Not water line, uh, a bit of a mud line. It's actually just a mud line, just mud. And there. And then mix that back in with that greeny colour there. Soften it in. Yeah. A bit more yellow into that. That's just to soften that in. That's not looking bad. Then a bit of that dark colour again. What's in that top bit? I'll take that up there a bit. I've had a bit of a cauliflower thing there, so I'll take it right up there to hide that. Bring some bits down to there. So I'm blending all these colours together now. I think I've got some bushes up there. It looking good. There's a cauliflower there, look, so I'll use that as a bush. See, half these things, what it did, white colour's got a mind of its own. Brave it time, you may as well just let it. I've, there's a lot of artists what say I want complete control. And I, I know what they're saying, it's good, but then the amount of things what happens in watercolour, what? I don't know, you just get a different feel. When you just lay it do sort of like once. And you just get a tiny flick of that bomb tumber. Just put a few little bits dotted around higher up. There. Now what that'll do. That looks quite nice to me. Right. Um tell you what I'll do now. Squeeze that brush out. I think what I'm gonna do now is put this water in and let that touch that brown and that might pull down drink of tea and give me a right nice little reflection so let's go back to that uh, the cerulean blue colour I think and a bit of that purple I'll mix a bit of that in as well yeah it's got a slight mixture of stuff there so I think I'll just pull that across the whole thing that's the cerulean blue I got a tiny bit of that darker blue in there tiny bit of that streak of that purple in there just perhaps across this side where the thing is and then back to that cerulean colour just touch that in there and let it drip down see if we get a few of them reflections coming down just a little bit that's not bad is it Well, I can go straight through all that. That's going to be darker anyway. That's not bad at all. That. Let's tap in a little bit more dark. 
and just come across put a bit more of a shadow in there that's it, a bit of that brown and this dark colour if we can get like a really dark colour at the bottom of these things where it's just reflecting a bit of mud and stuff that's all right I think softening brush not quite wet enough in fact let's get a bit more of that blue on it Tell me what, <coughs> before I even dry it, let's start building this ass up. So, I'll get some of that uh, cream cut frost, quite watery. Get some of that cream colour, colour the whole thing in, whole lot, with this cream colour. This will be the lightest colour on here. This drips down into this grass. Good. That's what I want it to do. Dee, dee, dee. Ow. I'll blend that into that grass. Blend that out and that in. Oh, that looks nice. Ow. Dee, 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 dee. I wonder what it's like to our eyes on the side of your head. I was watching this body in the garden earlier and it's got its eye, well all bods have got it, their eyes are on the side of the red and I just thought I wonder what it sort of just what it looks like looking through them, you know what I mean? There we are. Ah oh, well that looks cool doesn't it? Right let's give this whole thing a dry. <coughs> Gently, I don't know if it's just paint or what it's going to be. Just thinking, I only mainly need that as dry, really. Right, let's get some of that purple colour, what I mixed there. Mix a bit more of that rum out, mix a bit more up. There we are, that's about right. Right, and then come in. And here on that sticking out that's no good there and then come in here and just pop in my shadows so that's going to come down there down there right down there down there it's not going to stop here that shadow is going to cover probably some of this as well look. so i'll do that then bits there and bits there let me oh i'll tell you what i'll do pop these windows in that door, and there's yeah, a bit of a thing there. Um, oh yeah, I know what I can do. Bit of a sort of thing across there, a shadow off at top of the chimney. That looks nice. Uh, some more yellow paint and just blend that about in. Very nice, I like that. Uh, so what I could do before I do another dry, just build some layers and this grass up I'm thinking. So let's just get whatever's in here. I've got that creamy colour. Got a bit more yellowy actually, but I've got this creamy colour from uh, that's one thing, this brand new brush in breaking is good. Or maybe it will if it's drier. At the minute, it's not breaking as good as what me uh, older brush did from my grass blades. But 
perhaps it will when it I've got quite a lot of water on me brush on top so there I'll put another layer on that in a minute right I think I'm gonna dry that whole thing for that in fact before I dry it let me do one more little thing where's that brush gone it's there let me do let's get got a bit of reflection on these other things get a bit of reflection in here on this I think just a bit for roof where roof is I think it's set back a bit so I think there's maybe it's going to be a bit maybe it's just a tiny bit of that roof showing through something like that right. let's give that whole thing a dry Bontumba, nice watery Bontumba is what I'm thinking. Looks alright. And then come in and just pop that roof in there and that roof in there like that. Yeah, that's not like that. That's alright, done it. Yeah, that's that, that looks nice. Uh, right, let's get some more grasses now. Try and get a drier brush and a thicker paint, I think. See if I can break this brush up a bit at the end. No, I'm not bothered if I don't. It's a nice brush for that chiselling bit anyway. Right, it's a nice green colour. Uh, it's not breaking like the other one, but uh, I'm happy. As it gets older, at the end will get more bashed up and it will break better. But then I'll not be as good for chiselling. So pros and cons. But that one, we're getting that short. I oh, thought, look at the difference in length. I thought, is it going to be too short to even paint this soon? Right, gone into a darker green. Now, I think I'll use three greens on this. To a darker green still. And that is dry it all. Do that whole thing again. And build up some layers. <laughs> breaking now look so it does still break just my technique needs to be slightly different I think let's get some bright yellow in here that's it we're just building up layers a bit of this darker green in there I think we're about there I think that'll do me and maybe some of that really dark odd little It does give me some metal blades. Well, and I suppose you could, if you want to, right in some of these really close bits, pop a few 
little blades in like that if you want. Up to thou. Right. Latter lines. Let me get my latter line brush. See if I can get some little water lines in. I'm just using white gouache. You can rub paint out if you want, it's up to you. I just like on this cartridge paper, I just like to whack my white gouache and it just seems easier for me. That's how one. That's how one going through that house there. Straight through there and then another one. Ah, that'll do me. That's nice. There. There. Peter and Paul need to go in with two bods. Just a nice bit of Payne's great paint. Let's put them. Uh, let's put them here. It's quite light there. Let's put them there. Peter and Paul. There, what's that? And then I think we need a BD now. Is it all is it too wet? Try it there. B D Bertie D. There. Jobs are good. Just gonna thicken it up before I go. Just that latter line. It's just looking like it's fade. That's trouble with this gouache. It does fade back a bit. What's well, good sometimes because you can, right there. I'm just mainly getting a bit in the middle, and then leaving it to the edges where it's faded a bit and get some good effects. But you've got to keep your eye on it because you might need to stick another layer in after it's dried it. Right, I'll see the old beach. I'm gonna go and get some dinner. <coughs>